Bull Black's Kingdom, sub-level 6. Looks pretty... Final Flory. Never mind. Is that another... That is another... Wow. Bye, Blue Pikmin. Sacrificing the Blue Pikmin because, technically speaking, it said we didn't need Blue Pikmin. Oh my gosh, that's that just boosted our purple count up a lot. I don't need red Pikmin. I definitely don't need red Pikmin. It's nice to have red Pikmin on this floor to deal with the hazards safely, but eh. There's no, no sweat off my back. Oh. Hi, dude. <laughs> oh. Right? Huh. I would I I like to avoid dealing with that guy, if at all possible. Quotes by from an introvert from an introvert. Both carry the corpses back. Oh, can we sneak up on the guy from behind? Oh, we can. Now remember, there's a little guy in front of him, so. Wasn't that just jolly? Okay. I was afraid we were going to have to pull that guy out <laughs> again, but nope. All part of the plan. Ooh, that's so pretty. I love all the treasures we're getting. The eternal emerald eye. How do you know it's eternal? It ain't gonna last forever. We have so many purples. It's it's amazing. Okay. So we got a fiery dweevil, we got some orange bulwarbs and dwarf orange bulwarbs. What? It wouldn't let me bitter spray until after he ate my guys. I was mashing up on the D-pad like 20 times before it actually worked. That's dumb. What do you mean I can't emergency bitter spray? I was I was seriously mashing that up D-pad like tons of times long before they were eaten. That should not have happened. Alright, well... Oh, hi. You're here already. Ah, well. That happens.
came back. Ooh, a skull buried in the ground. Why, yes, please. Oh, no! No, no, no! I told you guys to get out of there long before the bomb went off, you butts! Did they get freaking stuck on the skull? Were they running towards me, but the skull was in the way, so they were just running into a wall? I Ladies and gentlemen, Pikmin 2 and its fake difficulty. Why is it always sub-level 6? Why is sub-level 6 of every single level always the annoying one? No! I told you all the freaking get out of there! Why is there always one stupid Pikmin who won't do what you tell him to? I whistled for all of them and he was just like, no. I'm gonna get blown up. You're gonna reset. Those, the freaking, like, just like, oh, a bomb falls from the ceiling. You have, like, two seconds to get out of there before everything dies. Also, your Pikmin don't obey you. In a game that's about commanding your Pikmin. Like, can you imagine if... It's kind of like playing chess if you told your chess pieces to do something and there was just a chance they wouldn't do it. How many people do you think would play chess at that point? Yeah, I trust nobody. I'm getting those bombs to trigger. friends. Land on his back already? Wow! Even with homing powers, you guys don't always work. that skull out of there. Ironically, the skull was the harbinger of death for me. Okay, I don't like how close to the is 
No! Thank goodness he got out of his range. <laughs> out of the range of his home. Alright, here we go. Blah. The Colossal Fossil. Okay, that's a good name. On the ball. Smurf, Smurf, Smurfs. That's what I'm looking for. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. There we go. Beautiful treasure again. We can go off to the finish line. I think the Bullwax Kingdom is almost over. Should be. Delve deeper with the Pikmin. Bullwax Kingdom sub level 7. Okay, yep, this is the boss floor. <laughs> this is definitely the boss floor. <laughs> Alright, I've been looking i I've been looking forward to this. Final floor. Ow, 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 ow. Alright, cool. Alright, so, if you couldn't tell by those eye stalks here, we're about to enter the boss. Boss is, uh... Well... Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna back the Pikmin up. I'll just show you guys what the boss is. The boss here is... Emperor Bullblax! The final boss of Pikmin 1 is... a generic boss in Pikmin 2. Yeah! Now, thankfully, he is way easier than he is in Pikmin 1. Pikmin 1, he was, like, by far the most monstrously powerful enemy in the game. And here, he can definitely eat a lot of you, your uh, Pikmin. And admittedly, he has, uh, he's quite big. But he's very easy. In fact, we're gonna beat him with only our purples. <laughs> So he should wander around a bit and then eventually bury himself back into the ground. What I'd really that's what I'd really like him to do. Um You're not gonna come behind those fire geysers, are you? He has way less HP in this than he does in Pikmin 1, so, like... <laughs> yes, there we go, okay. So he buries himself back in the ground. I think now at this point he's facing the opposite way. Yeah, here we go.
and he's dead. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he's very easy once you know how to do him. <laughs> Wee! And we get a new toy. My initial report indicates that the giant bull black spat out some sort of object. It looks fascinating, but it's drenched in that creature's internal juices. Disgusting. Oh, don't roll your eyes at me. I'll store it for you. That's good. Yeah, Emperor Bulblax. He looks intimidating. He's really easy. Like, he... He literally becomes a common enemy in the later dungeons. So that should tell you a little bit. A little something about that. <laughs> And here we go, the boss treasure. It's an action figure. The Forged Courage. <laughs> I am just as bad. This material has perplexing properties. I will try fusing it with this spare spacesuit. Processing complete. Successful. Behold my latest invention, the Scorch Guard. Thanks to the heat-resistant alloy, this suit is now impervious to fire. So now Omar and Louie will take zero damage from fire attacks. Which is also pretty nice. And oh, what's this? That's not the only treasure? No, it's not. Behind here. Yeah, look at all that water! When the game said that there were no water hazards, they were blatantly lying to you. To your face. Thankfully, I believe there is a way to get around it. Stupid yellow Pikmin, get back here. Why is the freaking yellow- I'm like, I only want red Pikmin over here, and the yellow Pikmin's like, IT'S MY TURN! It's like, no, it's freaking not. Now, I think you actually can bypass all of this, yeah. This is just meant for your captain to walk up. But still, they don't warn you about this in advance, so I'm not a fan of that. But hey, look, it's a gyroid sculpture. Now, hopefully they won't carry it down this way. Good, they're making that sharp turn. Good. Good, Anakin. <laughs> Do 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 do. Just don't step in the water, and you should be okay. <laughs> Alright, I'll let the red Pikmin carry that back. That's the only remaining treasure in the kingdom, and then we can go back to the surface. Spend the rest of the day farming bitter berries and trying to get overworld treasures. I think there's only, like, maybe two overworld treasures left in the Awakening Wood. We're doing really well. It's a gyroid! The gyroid bust. You knew what a gyroid was? Put it in the name. Alright. That's the last treasure escaped to the surface. That's the bull wax cl kingdom cleared. <laughs> I guess we didn't need blue Pikmin after all. Forge courage, gyroid bus. Blah, 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 blah. Cave complete. Yeah, that was definitely a lot easier than the shower room. Definitely harder than Glutton's kitchen. 
Actually, it's kind of on par with Glenn's Kitchen. I'd say it's a bit harder. Because, again, if, if you don't know that you can just kill the boss by throwing Pikmin at him as he's coming out of the ground, then, like, he actually can be pretty tough and eat a lot bunch of your guides. 